welcome to Bahrain and the prestigious Optimist Asian Championship organized by the Bahrain Maritime Sports Association under the authority of the International Optimist Dinghy Association. Wins are quite suitable for racing, uh, around 15 sometimes to 18 knots. Uh, so the weather is nice, nice and sunny. Al Jazair Beach is full of life and fun as more than 130 sailors from 22 nations gathered to participate and to take their chances for the crown. Team racing kicked off the first day of the Optimist Asian Championship where the top four sailors from the qualified countries joined forces looking for a place on the podium. Team racing is a unique format providing great action and thrilling moments. The key to success is for the young sailors to group their skills into a coordinated attack. The tricky weather conditions during the first day with ups and downs in wind strength and direction allowed the more experienced team racers to showcase their skills. Singapore, Thailand, Japan and China advanced to battle for the prestigious title on the second day of racing. For the rest of the sailors, the following day was a lay day so they'd have plenty of time to prepare for the individual Optimist Asian Championship which continued with three more races scheduled. On the second and decisive day of the Optimist Asian Team Racing Championship in Bahrain, all the teams paid extra attention to the details of tuning their boats and sails for another demanding day, leaving the shore ready to fight. The race course was set close to the shore and the first battle began on time. The stronger winds gave an advantage to the heavier crews, so the lighter crews had to draw even more on stamina, mental toughness and tactics. The first battle was between the powerhouse of Optimus Racing, Singapore, and the skillful team of Thailand. Singapore is the title holder and beat Thailand in 2012, while Thailand won in 2011. So both teams had history and both were determined to win this year. Eventually, Singapore prevailed after a tough battle on the water. Japan rolled out a very good team who managed to disqualify the second team of Singapore, preventing a civil war of two Singaporean teams. Although Japan fought hard in the next round, they didn't manage to overcome the obstacle of the first Singaporean team, but they were happy enough to win the bronze medal. The Singaporean first team, under the direction of their top coach, Fernando Alegre, was determined to continue their run of wins in this competition, but they had rather a solid object in their path, which was the formidable team from China. In the final sail-off, the menu was full of action as both teams gave their best and transformed the race into a chess game. Close battles, moments full of tension and great performances led to a spectacular outcome, with China outfoxing Singapore to raise the flag and take victory. So China are the champions of 2014. The wind was so strong, so we were worried that we might lose with the speed, with the boat speed, but um, some of the boys are really big on my team, so it was pretty good today. For the third day of competition, the forecast was pretty much the same, so all the sailors were about to enjoy three more fast races as the championship returned to the individual format. On day three of the Optimist Asian Championship in Bahrain, all 130 sailors were back in action. China was victorious in the team racing event run by the Maritime Sports Association, but now all competitors had to switch modes back to normal fleet racing. So as they prepared their boats to head out to sea, they were conscious of taking on other countries and their teammates. The weather looked perfect for another day of excellent sailing. 16 knot winds, clear skies and warm sunshine put a smile on everyone's face. This is a well-run championship and the best of Bahrain's hospitality make this event hugely popular with young sailors in the region. Having some 22 nations take part under the auspices of the International Optimist Dinghy Association gives the local Bahraini youngsters a real taste of big international championship racing. It's an ideal way to improve their skills and to grow their racing experience. And out on the race course, all the sailors were ready to showcase the best of these skills. And what a sight as this dynamic fleet sped out and squeezed onto the start line, all looking for that front rank, time on distance, perfect start to find the first shift. Close roundings, boat-to-boat -boat battles and fast pace were the characteristics of today's races. 
So far, it looks like the top spot will be claimed by a sailor from either Turkey, Thailand, Singapore or China, but the quality of the whole fleet makes this an early speculation. And as if to match the youngster's energy, a pod of dolphins came onto the course to see what all the fuss was about. We're uh, very glad to host the event. Uh, we started with a bid in 2009 and uh, finally it's here in Bahrain now. We're organizing it. It's very important for us to, uh, to have people come to Bahrain and put their eyes on sailing on our region in the Middle East and especially in the Gulf. Uh, we are very glad to host it. Uh, we, it's very important to us to also have the people of Bahrain get involved in the sport of sailing and uh, build awareness of sailing in Bahrain. The organization has been great. Really, uh, we have found a lot of uh, hospitality here in Bahrain. And I think that regatta really has met the expectations of everybody. So we are very thankful to, to the organizer for uh, organizing such a good event. With the forecast for slightly less breeze for the final day of the Optimist Asian Championship, the podium spots looked wide open. IOTA Optimist Asian Championship on Al Jazair Beach, suspense was in the air as all the sailors prepared for the final races. With the wind lighter than previous days, a steady performance in all conditions was the key for taking the title. The 130 sailors cross-checked and tuned their sails before the starting signal, just to be sure that they'd have the best possible speed. After some last-minute advice from the coaches, it was time to go. With lighter conditions on the race area, the sailors had to find the right wind shift. They also had to seek out the areas with more pressure. Not an easy task as the high level of the competition and the number of boats didn't leave much space. The experts of this tactical game turned out to be Malaysia, their sailors nailing the top three places in the first race of the gold fleet. Tension was high in the fight for the medals. A cat and mouse game began between Rashima Yashar from Turkey and Jun Rui Lu from Singapore, with the overall difference just one point after the first race. Wang Ji from China and Su Tong Yampinid were less consistent, with Pua Shaini attacking from behind. Everything was building up to a grand finale, with the top places to be decided in the last race of the championship. The dramatic last act put a lot of pressure on the young sailors. Rashima Yashar finished out of the top 10 places, but he claimed overall regatta victory because Jun Rui Lu finished behind him. As Yashar is from Turkey and outside Asia, Lu was more than happy to be crowned Asian boy champion for 2014. Wang Ji from China gave it everything, climbing to second place in the last race, but after a protest, he was disqualified, so he dropped down the leaderboard. After this dramatic decision, Su Tong Yampinit from Thailand won second place in the Asian Championship and third overall in the boys' fleet. Hua Shiny, the youngster from Singapore, claimed the Asian girl title and first overall in the girls' fleet, showing a lot of promise for the future. China, after winning the team racing Asian Championship, saw Hui Jia Yu in second with Jia Min Qi third in Asia and overall. The IOTA Optimist Asian Championship 2014 wrapped up with a typically impressive and glamorous medal ceremony, showcasing a real flavor of Bahrain's hospitality. The winners were warmly applauded and all the sailors went out of their way to say how much they enjoyed this well-run event. All in all, it was a great event with a good turnout from the top Optimist nations in the region. The 130 sailors faced a variety of conditions, so to win here was a test of many skills. And it was fitting that the more experienced athletes came out on top. The event left only good memories and everyone was ready to renew the appointment for next year. Until then, thanks for watching.